This is me exactly five years ago working for the family business mowing lawns. While I enjoyed working alongside my family, deep inside I just wasn't happy doing landscaping. Don't get me wrong, I didn't just mow lawns either. I also used to do landscape design, hardscaping, IT, and wore many more hats. However, every time I got out there, I knew I was meant to do something better or at least something that I was passionate about. And it wasn't being a landscape architect since I was going to college for that originally. But I remember sitting at a drafting class, confused at what was going on. And I ended up walking out of that class. It was then when I realized that landscaping just was not meant for me. My passion has always been building computers, the internet, gaming, and all aspects of tech. Fast forward to 2016, and I was able to switch to an IT help desk position with the help of my associate's degree and my CompTIA a certification. I now work as a systems admin and make over six figures, which is usually our dream when we want to switch careers. First of all, I want to give you a brief history of my background to hopefully motivate you if you are thinking of switching careers into IT. This motivation will come in the form of, if I was able to do it, so can you if you want it hard enough. At one point in my life, in my mind, I thought I would be doing landscaping the rest of my life, and I just saw no way out of it. There's a couple of reasons I thought this. First, I was not born in the US and was brought here by my parents at the eight, young age of seven. Because of this, I was undocumented a big part of my life into my teens, and I became a resident until after finishing high school. Once I was a resident, I was deep into the family business doing landscaping. Second reason is I got married at the young age of 23 and had two kids by the age of 26. In my mind, I had lost all hope of ever getting a college degree and switching careers, even if I have always been into tech. While there is definitely money to be made in landscaping, at the age of 31, I decided to go back to college to eventually become a landscape architect. I would work from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. doing landscaping, rush back home to take a shower, and I would drive 45 minutes to my college to start my 6 p.m. class that would go from until 9 p.m. or some even until 10, 10.30 p.m. One year into this, I realized landscape architecture was not for me and I decided to switch to a degree that I could use to eventually work in IT as that was my true passion. I talked to my family, which I did love working alongside my father and my brother, but I let them know that within one year, I was going to be abandoning the family business. At the age of 33, I got my associate's degree, followed by my A-plus certification. At the age of 36, I received my bachelor degree in science, networking, and security. At the age of 38, I received a master's of business administration. During this time, I also got more IT certifications, such as the Network Plus, CCNA, ITIL, and a couple of others. For me, it took having a combination of an associate's degree and my CompTIA a certification. If you're not familiar with that cert, it validates that you have knowledge on computer, hardware, software, and configuring computer and mobile operating systems. What I did was look at job descriptions like the ones from Indeed, and I searched for entry-level IT jobs. Most of these included IT help desk or IT technician roles. 
I saw that most of these required at least an associate and an A-plus certification. In fact, I tried to apply to an entry-level job with only my associate's degree, but I had no luck. However, as soon as I got my A-plus, I was able to land multiple interviews. And the more interviews I did, the better I got at answering interview questions and knowing what type of questions to expect. Some of these included knowing how to join a computer to a domain, how to ping a system, how to set a static IP, and basic things that an IT help desk would do. After about eight to 10 interviews, I landed a job doing IT help desk. The IT manager and I hit it off. We had a good connection where our work ethics were very similar and I was given the opportunity to work there. When I first started, of course, I was new and didn't know everything. So whenever I was taught something new, I would always document everything. Documentation is huge in IT and these documents that you create are very useful so you don't have to keep asking on how to do certain tasks. And even when you're more experienced, if you document whatever project you're working on, you can refer to it later on if you forget what you did or if you need to do any changes or revert back. Doing this impressed management very much and I was quickly able to get many promotions within the same company. As a matter of fact, I still work in the same company and I have been able to go from doing IT help desk into becoming a systems administrator and this happened within the first two years. I now have the role of senior system admin and have been able to work on many projects giving me a lot of valuable experience. Some of these include working with networking, cybersecurity, backups, cloud, and many more. While working in IT, I also have decided to get my bachelor's degree with Western Governors University. This school lets you study at your own pace from anywhere. All you need is an internet connection, computer, and a webcam for proctor tests. I originally tried Pennsylvania State University with their online world campus, but I did not like this school and I quit after the first semester. WGU allowed me to gain IT certifications that counted as part of their college classes. And even when I transferred in, they gave me credit for my A plus and Network Plus, which I had already earned on my own. I also earned an MBA from WGU and I am super thankful with this school as it allowed me to get my degrees while working full time being a husband and a father. Getting these degrees has definitely helped me get out of IT help desk and switching to the assistant admin position. I highly recommend this school, especially if you are in a similar situation to mine. I've heard other IT pros like Network Chuck and Jorge from Network Engineer Academy mentioned that a college degree is not needed to work in IT. While I do agree that you can work in IT and even get a high paying job with only IT certifications, but in the long run, you will hurt yourself by not also having a college degree. The reason I know this is because your competition will have a college degree and the IT certifications as well. If you are the hiring manager, why would you pick someone who has put in less work? If you search indeed for high paying IT jobs, you'll notice that most of the requirements are having experience, college degree, and IT certifications. I also gained very good skills in college, such as becoming a better researcher, writer, and even a better speaker. If I had to start over, I would honestly start the same way as when you first start, some of the IT topics can be very confusing and starting from the intro levels has allowed me to 
advance at my own pace. If you can get into the more advanced IT certs from the start, such as the Cisco CCNA, CCNP, definitely go for it. But I've seen some of my friends fail going directly to the CCNA and they end up giving up. I have also seen other people that go straight for harder certifications and they've had success. So it will depend on your situation on how well you learn. Now that I have finished my college studies, I plan on getting more advanced IT certifications such as the CCNP from Cisco, a couple of Azure certs, VMware, and possibly the Certified Ethical Hacker certifications. Possibilities are endless and being in the IT field, you always have to keep learning or you will get be left behind very quickly. My goal for this video was to hopefully motivate some of you to switch into the IT industry as it can be a very scary situation. Looking back at how I got here, I have been against all odds, but I was able to do it. And if I could do it, so can you. This is only my opinion as there are many ways to start working in IT or even just switching to another career. But this was how I did it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel as it would mean a great deal to me and would help support me in creating more content. Thank you and until next time.